Howdy. Gonna do a quick comparison with these three shells. This is a federal folded crimp, uh, just standard game and target load. Uh, seven and a half shot at 1290 feet per second. This is my kind of go-to round for three gun or has been anyway. This is a Winchester AA 1145 feet per second, uh, seven and a half shot. And this is the new Federal Action Shotgun uh, cartridge uh, with a roll crimp. Uh, it's a seven and a half shot at 1235 feet per second. I'll post the specs on all of these uh, shells. Gonna go ahead and uh, do a little autopsy on these, uh, cut them open, kind of look at the structural features and see what, what if anything, is making this new Federal Action Shotgun um, a go-to for box-fed shotgun owners. All right, this is the game, uh, Federal Game and Field um, opened up. You see we got the shot cup with the shot. It's a um, folded crimp. You can see it does flex quite a bit. And then we've got the wad and powder charge underneath it. This is the Winchester AA, and the end is a little bit more rigid. You can see you've got quite a bit more thickness to the hull compared to the Federal Game and Field. And uh, Wad and the Shot Cup are kind of all one piece there. Powder charge is down here. All right, here's a look inside the Federal Action Shotgun. So, got a uh, shot cup there. Have our wad sitting on top of a powder charge. You can see it still looks like the AA has a little trump and hull thickness. I'll measure this for y'all in a little bit. And just looking at the hull flexibility I think the double A is actually a little more rigid. Uh, big difference here is this roll crimp. Roll crimp is supported by this little plastic disc that sits in here. And that really gives the nose of this shotgun hull a lot of rigidity when you compare it with the nose on the double A with that folded crimp. Again, not super scientific here, but if you can see, I'm pushing with about the same amount of pressure, and that nose will not flex. And just from my observation, that probably has a lot to do with the thickness of that roll crimp and the addition of this plastic disc. All right, a lot of folks think hull thickness plays a big role in successful feeding in box fed shotguns. This right here is the Federal Game and Field load. Zero here. And you're looking at a 0 .35, 0 .035 inch hull thickness. Winchester AA. 0 .059 little thicker and this is the federal action shotgun the new load point oh four seven thickness so a little less thick than the double a but significantly thicker than the standard field load
So conclusion about this new round, um, had a chance yesterday to go out to shoot a three gun match at Texas Defensive Shooting Academy. Uh, average temperature was about 95 to 98. Our heat, heat index was at well over 100. Um, I loaded all my mags the day before with Federal Ashen Shotgun. Um, during the match, I purposefully left my mags out in the hot sun, which typically I don't do. Um, even with double A's, you leave them out in the hot sun, the mags get heated up, the shells soften, and you get malfunctions. So typically I leave my uh, 20 rounders you know, in the shade, or I don't go as far as a cooler, but I keep them somewhere cool and out of the sun. Yesterday I didn't do that. Some of my mags sat in the sun for two, three hours um, and before they got shot. I had zero malfunctions from this round. Um, these, these, you know, the structural integrity of these new shells is so stiff, I think you could pretty much shoot them in any environment and they will chamber in your, in your VR-80. Um, I did have one malfunction on my last stage and that was user-induced. I didn't have my shotgun uh, seated in my shoulder and let a round go off and the bolt short stroked. That's, my, that's on me, that's not the fault of these rounds. Um, now, you know, these do cost just a little bit more per shell than double A's. So right now they're gonna get into my loadout at pretty much any hot weather match. If I'm shooting hot weather, which is 80% of the shooting I do, I'm gonna be using a uh, federal action shotgun. Uh, once, if they reach the price point of double A's, this will be my go-to round for pretty much all matches. Um, only reason I'll use double A's now is just they're a little lower price point. Um, and um, you know they, they function if you keep them cool, it's a little extra work on your part, or if you shoot them in cool weather, they run just fine. But these are definitely good to go in your box fed shotgun. So um, if you find a deal on them, uh, I'd grab, a, grab a, a case. And just of note, they're only sold in a 200 round bulk pack case. You can't buy them in individual 25 round boxes as of right now, which is July, 2023. Um, Best price I've seen on these, uh, Dissident Arms has them for about 140 and that's with shipping. Uh, Midway had them for 129 plus shipping, which came out to about the same price as Dissident. So those are the two best prices I found on the internet. If anybody sees it better, please let me know. Um, anyhow, if y'all have any questions, please post below.